In the front there is the record button, the mode switch selector, the side power on and off button, the 3-axis stabilized gimbal with a 2.5 inch sensor rather than a 2.3 from the Osmo Pocket. Type down so you can recenter, flip the camera, gimbal mode and strength of the gimbal in follow mode. Swipe from left to right and you are entering the recording modes. Photo with timer and aspect ratios. Video mode and we have here 4K up to 60p and actually 1080 in 120 frames per second. There is also in 2, 4 and 8 times slow motion in 1080. Time lapse motion and hard pull up modes with the end panoramic modes. Swipe from top to down and you will enter setup settings with various settings like quality mode, tilt control, flicker, calibration, Wi-Fi. Then we have the storage, metering and device data. Display mode so you can turn on the professional mode just like in the Osmo Pocket. Crank up the brightness of the screen. The app isn't so smooth like the Osmo Pocket, but you will get all the settings layout in your options and I didn't find any problems using it. And this is the only small camera gimbal that you will be able to mimic control through your smartphone so you can get really creative and actually get and nail that perfect framing with a mimic control. Pressing the pro icon you will be able to control manually all the features like white balance, exposure, shutter speed and volume settings. There is also a really flat FIY log color profile. The angle of view of the Feotech is 120 degrees if you are using the image quality first mode. And it's a lot wider than the Osmo Pocket. If you are using the stabilization priority the field of view narrows actually the same size just like the Osmo Pocket. 80 degrees. 